From this video, we will know what's new in the new version of Tesla SCADA 240. In the new version, we added new graphical objects in the fan library. It's cool fan, pump, tentacle fan, and axle fan. And also in conveyor, it's a screw motion incline conveyor and screw motion conveyor. And also OJ. Some of the graphical objects we make in vectors, and some graphical objects we made by using GIF pictures. The difference between them is that you can change speed proportional in the vector graphic, and you can change color of the background of the vector, vector graphical objects. For example, cool fun. You can change fill color, you can change depending on tech, and also, of course, you can change rotation proportional in sp by speed in speed. In in the GIF objects, you can change speed not proportional. For example, if it equal five thousandths it's one speed. If you grade 5000, it's seconds. It's more slower speed. It, if it's lower than 5000, it's a faster speed. We create script that binds speeds properties and rotation properties to the text rotate and text speed. And let's see speed. Also, by using this new graphical object cylinder 3D. You can find it in the 3D objects library. And let's see how it works. We change color and now we can change speed. Also, in the new graphic, in the new version, we create possible new script function to close pop-up. And now, you, by using this function, you can change, uh, you can close pop-up and bind text value to the text value in the main screen. For example, we create some script that bind to these buttons. We call pop-up and call and call speed depending on the button. And when open pop-up, we bind this speed to pop-up speed. And you can see this window change speed to, to this value. And when you close pop-up by clicking yes button, you can bind text speed to text pop-up speed. If you cl cl close by clicking no, it just close pop-up. And let's see how it works. Five. Also, in the new version of Tesla Sky 2, we add two new, new functions that let you get current screen name and also private screen name. It use if you, it's helpful if you want to return back to the old, old screen by, call, by using function call screen and the value that you get from the, these functions. And let's see how it works. Return and return from the screen too. Here you can see the values when you 
get to the screen 3 and you get the previous screen 0. Also in the new version we add possibility to new functions for the users. You can stop and close the execution can stop execution of the project and can close the application. For example, in our case, operator don't have possibility to close and to stop application to stop project and close application, but admin can do this. And let's see how it works. For example, we start by operator and try to stop it also by operator login. And we can do it. But if you change admin, you can stop and close the application. Also, we add new graphical object pipes. It's the same pipes, but but other gradient or other lighting. It's helpful in some graphical for screen. That's all. If you've got any questions, do not hesitate to ask by a forum or by email.